Okay, so since you've been asking about these, here's another story idea. Now, this isn't an idea for a whole story, but it's an idea. Well, you'll see. Okay, so I'm watching, I'm listening to this podcast, right? Listening to a podcast. I'm out, uh, what do you call it? Your pre workout, kind of walk in to loosen up. And the guest on the show, see, I look terrible in hats. I don't, there got to be a better way. You guys come up with some better way to have me out here in the sun getting exercise without looking like a dork. Anyhow, the guest on the show is a neurobiologist. And I guess he was in some clinical studies when he was in college. He made some comment about a drug they were testing that he volunteered to test. And he said, I was able, my body functioned perfectly from the neck up and from the waist down, but I wasn't, he actually was trying to say he wasn't as emotionally sensitive as he felt like he could be. And taking this drug, he said, and this is the important part, he said, after taking the drug, I felt like my body had been tightly wrapped in plastic wrap that suddenly unzipped. Okay, so basically he's saying at that point he felt like he would could could feel more emotion. Okay, so you may ask. Okay, interesting, Dan. Actually, not even that interesting. Listening to a, a podcast with a neurobiologist. Um, honestly, I didn't know that's what the podcast was, but it was interesting for a while. And hey, how much attention was I paying him if I'm thinking about story ideas? But when he said that, it just struck me as a an interesting phrase. And all I did was I grabbed that phrase in my head, and I turned around and I said, I'm working on this story where this guy goes on a rampage and he starts killing people, and there should be some emotional release after he kills his first victim. And in the killer's point of view, killing his first victim, who's going to be totally innocent to anything he had going on, this first victim had nothing to do with what's bothering him and sends him over the edge. But after killing that first victim, he's going to, like, you know, I, I don't know if he's going to stab her or shoot her. I think he's going to stab her. We'll see. And then after it's done and she's dead, he's going to be sitting there, like, catching his breath, standing over the body, thinking about what he did. He's probably happy about what he did, and he's going to make some kind of internal thought like it was as if up until this very moment in his life, his entire body had slowly been wrapped in plastic wrap that was getting tighter and tighter, and now with this one act, it had all been unzipped or all been unreleased or something like that. That just struck me. That, that comment just struck me as weird but usable and unique and interesting, right?